Hello, Dr. Noob here again. So, I'm really surprised. 200 subscribers. I cannot believe that. I don't have that many cousins, so I think some of you are legit and interested in my tutorials. I'm very happy to see you subscribing and putting comments and hitting the like button. So, thank you very much to all of you. Um, well, this is a special location, so I thought I will um, do a little tutorial. So today I will do a tutorial about Milea Tech, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering the English, it's not my native language. So first of all I want to tell you what the setup is. So I have Unity 2019.4.34 F1, which is the long-term support which I always recommend for the Corgi engine as well as the latest Corgi engine, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the 751 from the 17th of December 2021. And uh, for our test, I took the Gothic Vania Church, which I absolutely love, and this is uh, free for you to download from the Asset Store. That's the setup. So, the first thing we need to do is to have the melee weapon attached to Mr. Monk here, which is my hero in this, uh, in this game. So, I open the prefab and I add in here an empty game object. So, this will be a little bit confusing. Why am I doing that? Uh, the reason and the only reason is because I would like later to see in here where my collision box will be. Best thing is if I just show you that. So I will call that game object punch and I will add the melee weapon in here. So we have here different settings and you see here this red box, this is where the collision will happen. If I go to the melee damage area, then you see I can choose between a rectangle and a circle. So let's say I would like to have something like a on the hook kick from here to down here, then maybe I would do a circle and uh, well definitely try to make it bigger or something like that. Uh, but in our case, I would like to add the punch. So the difficulty that you see at the moment is that I don't see where my sprite will do the punch. So I think um, this is my workflow. Uh, the best thing to do is if I go here to the monk and I lock that, go to the Gothic Vania church go to the player and find the sprites for the punch and take the last one. So now I can see where the punch will go. Now I can try to take this punch in here and try to shift it a little bit around. That looks good for me. Now, if you look at the punch, you see the first uh, sprite, he goes a little bit back with his feast before he punches. So I want to reflect that with the melee damage area timing. If you see in here the punch, sprites, you see it will take 0 0.1 until he starts to punch and he will go up to 0 0.6. So I think I will exactly add those values in here. So the initial delay, it means when I click the button he will wait 0 0.1 second and it will take him 0 0.6 second 
to do the punch. And here under melee damage cost I can uh, tell him which layer he should attack. In my case it's very obvious I can do that for the enemies but I can maybe do some platform smashing or something like that so that's one hint for you. 10 is okay and let's go to the general settings also because there is the trigger mode which is auto so it means it will repeat itself. I want to have a semi-auto in that case and maybe let's say what should we do maybe a 0 0.7 to make it a little bit difficult for the player so it means what time are between the uses I think that's okay so it looks a little bit um, natural good that's it the next step is to make out of this punch a prefab so you know the drill it's very easy you just drag and drop the punch in here remember the only reason why I did that um, as a child of monk was just to see it in here so now I can delete it and that's it so now Mr. Monk needs now to have the ability for the character handle weapon activated and I need to drag and drop that in here to the initial weapon it was missing because I just deleted it before the tutorial when I tested it out so that's it and it's time to test so let's go here to the scene and if you take a close, uh, close look in here then we should see the monk and if I'm clicking on the button then you should see a small red rectangle appearing which will be the damage ah you see perfect so I click and ah whoa I made it so congratulations you have the melee attack but the difficult part for me at least was to make the animator running I had to dig deep everywhere and I finally found it out and it's so easy it's almost annoyingly easy once you know it uh, here under punch you have the animator parameter names and you can do as you see a lot of different uh, triggers for um, uh, for the animations I personally thought that this uh, use animation parameter is uh, sufficient and I can name it as I wish so I will put punch now I go here where the, our animator is and you see I have already a boolean for walking now I can add hmm, a boolean for punch I was just thinking if I should make a trigger out of it maybe it's wiser to do it that way but at the moment let's do it this way so we have now the punch uh, parameter and I can now make the transitions to punch and back in here I tell him that he has no exit time and that he should transition when the punch is through good in here I would like to have the exit time and I would like to add here when the punch is false let's save that and try that again and yes look at that wonderful oh man 
I'm such a lousy player. So, Don like a champ. Okay, that was it for this short tutorial. I hope you have a nice day and thank you very much and see you soon again. Cheers!